Good morning, good morning, good morning. A happy Thursday to you all. I pray you all received sweet sleep last night. Woke up with bells and whistles on, ready to take on this new day. Hey there, Harpy Sherry, Harpy Val, Harpy Shanice, Heartbeat Deborah. Heartbeat Eva, Heartbeat Nicole, Heartbeat Bernice. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you all. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the Heart Gatherer. And this morning, your daily dosage is Trust God's Timing Part 2. Hey there, Heartbeat Yolanda and Heartbeat Troy. Trust God's Timing Part 2. And so yesterday we got started talking about, you know, just as human nature, we all want everything right now. We don't want to wait for anything. That's why we microwave food. That's why, you know, we go through the fast food lanes. You know, we don't want anything right now. But we also bring that over into the spiritual realm. We want God to move right away. And God does not work like that. God has a designated move moment in a pointed time when he releases the blessing. And so we talked about yesterday that we have got to trust God's timing. We talked about how Sarah put her hands all in what God was doing and how the, the fallout behind that. And so we don't want to do that. So we got started in um, Proverbs 3 about trusting in the Lord with all our heart, not leaning towards our own understanding. See, in our own understanding, we don't know it all. We don't have the full picture like God does. And so we make decisions based on the information that we have, the information that we know. We can't, you know, see what God sees. Our faith, of course, takes us out. But when it comes to making decisions, we've got to wait. We can't try to get in there and rush God's breakthrough. So then we went to Isaiah 40, 31, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And we realize this, that when we wait on the Lord, it's a process. We're learning something that he is strengthening us. He's getting us ready for that breakthrough that we've been praying for, that we've been waiting for, that we've been declaring and decreeing about, but we've got to learn to trust God's timing. You know, in my prayers, I'm always saying, thank you, Lord, for not giving me what I thought I wanted. Because, you know, the our emotions can cause us to desire things that we shouldn't desire or desire them at the wrong time. Lord, I want to do this. Lord, I want to do that only to be in God's timing or realize the way that God has orchestrated something that that would not have been the best move for my life. And so we've got to learn to trust God's timing, even when it's not in alignment with our timing. We've got to trust that he is God. You know, he tells us in scripture, I know what I'm doing. So just follow what I'm doing. So over in Isaiah 41 10, the King James Version says this, fear there not for I am with thee. Be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yes, I will help these. Yes, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And so when we are in that period of waiting, we've got to understand who God is and that God is with us. Don't be afraid. Don't be fearful about what we don't know. Don't be afraid. Don't be fearful about the situation that we are presently in. And that's what was happening here in Isaiah with the children of Israel. He says, look, I've already he told you wait upon the Lord but now I'm going to back it up in the next chapter and say fear not I'm with you don't be dismayed in this thing that in this um dispensation of time where you are I am the one that is strengthening you. I am the one that is making the way for you. I'm making sure that everything goes according to my plan. He says, I will uphold you. I got you. You know, and those are words whenever I'm praying and I hear the Holy Spirit say, I got it or I got you. It sets my soul afire. And so God is saying this. There's no need to be afraid. There's no need to be in anxiety. There's no need to be in worry. You've 
got to know that I am with you along the way, that you are not in this by yourself, but you've got to trust my timing. You've got to trust that I know what I'm doing. You've got to trust that I know what's best for you. You've got to trust that I'm working this thing out for your good. You know, sometimes we are um, in such a hurry. Just think about traffic, how people go in and out, in and out, only to get to the light up there where you are. We've got to learn how to slow down enjoy the ride be still and know that i'm god when you are on a long car ride when you take your time you realize things that you don't realize when you're in a hurry when you literally just coast through wherever you're going i didn't know that was over there i didn't know that was over there this is what also what happens in the spirit realm when you are in a hurry when you are ahead of god when you are not walking alongside him you miss the little nuggets that he's trying to show you. You miss the elevation. Glory to God. You miss your upgrades because you're in such a hurry to get there that you're not enjoying where you are as he takes you where you're going. You've got to be comfortable where you are. You've got to be content where you are because you're with God. Psalm 135 and 6, and I'm going to close it out with this today. Easy reading version. It says this, I am waiting for the Lord to help me. My soul waits for him. I trust what he says. I am waiting for my Lord like a guard waiting and waiting for the morning to come. Here is where we have to switch our brain. We have to wait on the Lord. No matter how long it takes him, we've got to learn to wait on the Lord. As we're waiting, the question is not how long, Lord, where is my tracking number? No, where is my package? That's not the question. The question is this, Lord, what am I supposed to learn as I wait? What are you showing me? What is it that I'm not getting? This is the question that we have to ask while we're waiting, understanding that if God has not opened the door yet, if God has not released the blessing yet, that there is a reason for it. There's some growth that's needed on my part or either the situation, he's still working on the people that are going to assist me in the situation. Remember, in this year of 2024, the year of your divine destiny, everything is divinely orchestrated. And so God may be still working on the heart of another, but you've got to know this. God knows what he's doing and you've got to trust his timing. Relax and enjoy the ride as you ride shotgun with God experiencing all the great things that he has in store for you. Remembering this, that while we're waiting, we're learning, we're being corrected, and that knowing this, that there is always prosperity in correction. Why? Because God only corrects those he loves. He does not want you to stay in the situation that you, you're in, and he does not want you to stay in that mind frame. It's time to switch your brain and get in alignment with God. Trust his timing. If you got to wait, you know what I'm going to say. Get your Sprite and your popcorn and watch this thing play out. Knowing this, that the author and the finisher of our faith is directing this entire thing. And so although I'm waiting, I'm waiting already knowing that it ends in a praise. I'm waiting already knowing that God knows what's best for me. I'm waiting already knowing that at the appointed time, at the designated moment, God is going to pull the curtain and I'll be able to walk out center stage. He's making sure everything is in place that I may experience all that he has prearranged and predestined for my life. So Heartbeat Nation, we will trust God's timing. Amen. Hey, listen, that's the daily dosage for today. Trust God's timing part two. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel already, please do so because there you can find all of your dosages in one place. Follow me on social media platforms. God Wants Me Whole. Visit the website, GodWantsMeWhole.org. You know how we do this thing. Come on, let's say it together. Say, God Wants Me Whole 
and I am. Again, I'm Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness, aka I'm the heart gatherer. I love you guys a bunch. Go out there, have a spec wow amazing day. Look out for falling blessings because they are falling all around you. And remember, trust God's timing. He knows what he's doing. Enjoy where you are as God takes you to the next level. Wait on God for the upgrade. Wait on God for the expansion. Wait on God for the promotion. He knows what he's doing and he has nothing but good things in store for you. But wait on God's timing. We'll close this thing out tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Again, love you guys a bunch and I'll see you back here in the morning.